Welcome back. We hope you got a lot out of that last session. And this session is going to be a little bit different. We have a big event coming up at the end of April, and we have these wonderful women here to tell us about it. So we're going to start out with Roberta Gray, fondly known as RG to her friends and her students and everybody. So we're going to talk to you about what's coming up. And then we're going to talk to Bess. And I understand you are the president, yes, Bess Marshall. And you're going to tell us a little bit about your organization. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to learn about costumes. And you're all displaying such beautiful <laughs> costumes, I might add. So I'm so glad you're here with us. And RG, to you, tell me about the event that you all are doing in support of Senior Services and our Senior Nutrition Program. Well, Senior Nutrition Program is one of our long-standing, really important community efforts. And we think that people who need to have good nutrition need to have a little help so that they don't have to pay for the extra meal sometimes in the week. And so we've been able to kind of help out in that way. But this yeah. time, I think we can do a lot, lot more because we changed the way we do our shows. Instead, we did before we had cupcake cabarets right. and we had tables and chairs and the, the, the event got kind of, you know, popular. Very popular. And, and then people were so far back because of the tables, they couldn't see. Right. So right. we've done away with the tables. Goodbye tables. And so when you do, when you don't have any tables, then what in the world is this event all about? So we are doing a cupcake corral uh -huh. and it's sort of welcome to the dude ranch. Uh -huh. And so we're going to do all kinds of things that people might think of doing at a dude ranch. And so uh, we have really great lights. We have great sound, terrific costumes and scenery. It's going to be quite a nice show. And we're doing two of them, one in the afternoon and one in the evening. And we can have probably twice as many people at one of the shows as we used to be able to have mm -hmm. because we got rid of the tables. And now we're going to have two shows. So that's like four times as many people can come and see a wonderful show. And they get a cupcake. And they get water, because you have to wash down the cupcake. <laughs> and of course, they get to see the show. And then at the intermission, we're going to have a line dance for the audience to learn. Fun. Well, that's so fun. that's what we're doing. That sounds great. And I think we haven't said, I said it's the end of April, but it is on Saturday. Yes. April 27th. 27th. So just the last weekend in April on Saturday, the one o'clock show or the seven o'clock show. Right. And that's the weekend of Arts Walk. So mm -hmm. everybody's kind of into all these kinds of things anyway. And the reason we have a show at one and another at seven is that in the middle is the procession of the species. That's right. And so no Look one has to miss just set up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and no one has to miss the procession mm. of the species. They uh -huh. can come to our shows and do that too. All right. And this time it's going to be at Westminster Presbyterian Church. Yes, what a wonderful place. 25 Boulevard. So all right. Well, we'll come back to the show, but I know the show wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Melodies in Motion, this wonderful organization that is putting on the benefit performance. And so I want to turn to Bess here and just ask you a little bit about okay. Melodies in Motion. Can you well, tell me about it? Prior to us starting our nonprofit, which we did, um, we formed a year ago, mm -hmm. um, we were really running these shows just on a shoestring budget in costumes made of duct tape and um, <laughs> <laughs> handmade lights and things like that. So um, it became very apparent that we needed to get some funding for ourselves so we could continue to expand and uh, support our nonprofit groups. So uh, we got our nonprofit, our IRS nonprofit status in September, and we've raised some money through grants, garage sales. Uh, GoFundMe, and mm -hmm. we'll be doing some community uh, outreach as well, mm -hmm. too, to support our program. So um, we now have um, more costumes and better lighting, much better lighting. Better equipment all around, all I e imagine. All yeah. around, sound equipment and uh -huh. scenery. So You've it, been a successful yeah. grant writer, I understand. Yes. we Congratulations. We done, thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. So, so um, I think, I 
know the answer to this question, mm -hmm. but I'm going to ask it anyway. If somebody wants to support the melodies in motion, mm -hmm. do you accept donations Absolutely. from people that just would be mm -hmm. interested in supporting the arts and supporting mm -hmm. dance for women mm -hmm. intergenerationally? Women that just want to dance. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so they can yeah. mm -hmm. accept donations that mm -hmm. way. Wonderful. We can do it either through, they can mail it directly to us or through PayPal or. Okay, well, we'll get mm -hmm. your address Perfect. and put it up on okay. the screen so in case people want to do that. Thank so you. you mentioned costumes as mm -hmm. being much improved from years, mm -hmm. former years. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just wondering maybe a little bit about the costumes would be great. Okay. And I think this lady back here, the dance hall girl, is, I've forgotten your name. Can you remind me of your I'm name? I'm Cheryl. Cheryl. Yes. So tell me about the costumes. That... Well, as Bess mentioned, we started out with duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> Not for the whole costume, just holding together some tool and um, used Velcro also. But uh, this past year, we've been very fortunate in having wow costumes. Mm -hmm. I know they disbanded, which was a shame, but they were very generous and mm -hmm. gave us their costumes. Nice. Also, the Jubilette dance team from uh, Jubilee uh -huh. uh, gave us theirs, and so this is one of them. Oh, wow. I call That's it wonderful. the tango dress. Uh -huh. It's lovely. And, uh, yes, and then we're also still making costumes, uh -huh. and Peg Berry has made this costume. Peg, you better stand up here. Oh, that's Carol. <laughs> oh, Carol, sorry. <laughs> oh. And Carol's taking a riding lesson. All right. <laughs> All right, wonderful. So, RG, can you introduce these wonderful women that are here showing their costumes and their dancers as well? And right. Well, they're all dancers, uh -huh. and they come from a variety of backgrounds. Uh, Carol, uh, Carol's history is that she is a retired minister. Oh, wow. And so uh, one day she came to rehearsal after having officiated at a very solemn occasion, and that was quite a, a, a shift, you know. And <laughs> next, next to Carol is Anna, and she's one of our young'uns <laughs> because we are multi-generational. And when Anna started with us, she had a little girl. The little girl is now in kindergarten, <laughs> and she has now also a little boy. Oh, so wow. we have sort of been there while these children keep appearing. <laughs> and then, of course, you met Bess. Uh -huh. And then we have Karen. Karen is a school administrator. She used to be a principal, but now she moved up to the big, bad main office. <laughs> and, uh, but Karen came to our group as a full-fledged, very, very accomplished ballet dancer. Mm -hmm. And so um, I can't, as a, I, as a choreographer, I can take a little credit, but I, I didn't teach her much of anything. <laughs> she already came that way. And you met Cheryl. Uh -huh. And here is our producer, Leslie Weaver. Yeah. And um, I get to just be the artistic director, and all I have to do is choreography and just, you know, torture the dancers in rehearsal <laughs> and things like that. And behind me is a real cowgirl, uh -huh. Casey Carpenter. <laughs> Casey actually, you know, has experience with horses and cowgirl hats and uh -huh. things like that. And so when we're doing some of our, our routines, I say, well, see how Casey does it? She knows. <laughs> So all we, right. not all of us have, have experiences having been in the Western, Western uh, entertainment field. All and right. so we have to kind of have a leader. Right. <laughs> all right, and how many performers all together will be performing at the Cupcake Corral? Well, including the guest artists and singers, probably a little over 30 dancers and singers. All right, that's gonna be a good show, a really yeah, big and, show. And Wonderful. we have, we have uh, our opening number is mm -hmm. the entire cast. Uh -huh. And then everyone comes together to close act two, uh -huh. and act one, and then we also get all together for the finale at end act two. Okay. So this year we only have two acts, act uh -huh. one, uh -huh. act two. Act one is the first day everybody comes to the dude ranch. Uh -huh. And then, of course, they're exhausted because, it, you know, at the end of the day, they've done all this line dancing. <laughs> and so the n act two is the beginning of a whole new day. Okay. And we have a wonderful singer who is going to sing, oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, great. Wonderful. All right. And I, how many 
members do you have for the Melodies in Motion, the nonprofit group? We have about 15. 15 kind members. of board members mm -hmm. yep. around that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, I just thank you all so much, first of all, for proposing a benefit for our senior nutrition program. And I am really looking forward to the show. I'm really looking forward to it and hope that our audience wants to purchase tickets. And so before we go any further, the tickets are $15, $10 for seniors and students and $15 for the general public. And they can be gotten on South Sound Seniors website or at the Lacey and the Olympia Senior Centers. One thing I forgot to mention with the Corral is that we are embarking on something new, and that is dancing in the round. So the uh -huh. audience will be on all four sides of the stage, uh -huh. and the dancer's challenge is to dance for everyone. Right, that will be really exciting to see. And um, the audience will be all around, and the nice thing is people won't have to sit like 20 rows back because there'll only be like three or four Rose, Rose, everybody will get to see the dancer's feet. It'll be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> or at least their faces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thanks so much for coming in and getting your costumes on. And I look forward to seeing you at the end of April at the Corral, the Cupcake <laughs> Corral. Yes. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh -huh. So, hope you can make it to the Cupcake Corral on April 27th. That's all we have for our show this month. We look forward to seeing you again next month. Thanks so much.